draw a syringe on Mr. Ivan. Um, you know who I am. Okay. I'm, okay, we've had our introductions. I know I have the correct patient. So I'm just gonna do a syringe draw. Um, we'll just do a, all I have over here is PTI and R's or glucose, so we'll just do the same. Um, I'll just do a PTI and R. So on this injection, rather than using a vacutainer like we did before um, with Ms. Tootin, this time we're going to use our syringe. This allows us to have a little bit more control over the way that the blood comes out and flows. It's not as, as um, the vacutainer kind of sucks quickly, vein could possibly collapse like that. This is more controlled. You're able to uh, decide the speed of it. All right, do you have any allergies I should know about, sir? No. Okay, so if I could have your arm up here. I'm just gonna pull your sleeve up. We're gonna go right above the antecubital space with our tourniquet. Again, we wanna tie our tourniquet away from our sterile space. She said you can see things. So that's a good example. We got a little bit of a scar here, so we always want to make sure that we stay away from the scar tissue. His vein is right underneath there. So I'm going to actually use that as a landmark and just stay right um, up underneath that scar there. Make sure I can't find anything better here. No. Alright, so. I will go for here. I'm going to clean from the inside to the outside in a circular motion. I'm just going to have you squeeze up for a minute. Thank you. Okay, again, bevel up. We're using a 23 gauge needle. We're just going to loosen that up a little bit. No air in the needle. This is pushed all the way out because we're going to draw the blood into the syringe. All right, I'm going to go straight in. And we usually will see a flash right in there at the end of the syringe. You know you're in at that time, and then we're just going to slowly pull and let our syringe fill. Make sure you get enough that you can, you know, keep in mind what kind of tubes that you're gonna need to fill. I don't need a great big one. So I'll go ahead and stop there. Tourniquet, two by two. And then we're gonna come straight out and make sure we lock our needle on the table, okay? So we're gonna set this to the side for just a second. I'm gonna have the patient put some pressure there for me. Remove your cap, locked in safety, and put it into sharps, okay? We're gonna take our transfer tube while the patient is keeping pressure. And we're just gonna transfer this onto our syringe of blood. Then we're going to get our test, which here I have a glucose, and we're gonna transfer the blood into our glucose vacutainer so that we can send off to the lab. Everything else is discarded. This will be labeled with the patient's information and be sent to the lab for processing. All right, next we make sure that we take care of our patient and we'll just do a quick pressure bandage, fold your two by two into fours. And we'll wrap one time with Coban and be sure to remind your patient, a lot of people will forget their arm is wrapped up, just remind them to take that off and I'll say about 10, 15 minutes, just remove the Coban. Make sure that the bleeding has stopped.